breaking. Nigerian South is governed, meeting Enugu, state over insecurity, and other things. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news of today, governors of Southeast Nigeria, under the aegis of Southeast Governors Forum, are meeting in Enugu State. The five governors of Southeastern State, Alex Oti of Abia, Prof. Chuko Masoro of Anambra State, Francis Nguifo of Enugu State, Peter Mba of Enugu State, and Snetopos Demo of Imo State, are currently meeting behind closed doors in Enugu State Government House. This is the meeting meeting of the governor in the region since the inauguration of a new governor on May 29, 2023. It was gathered one of the things that would feature prominently on the agenda is the issue of Monday sit at home, protests in the region, and the demand for the release of Namde Khan, the leader of the separatist group, Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOP, who has been in the custody of the Department of State Service, DSS, since June 2021. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, first of all, these leaders you see here is not to be trusted. Though, some of them are not bad. But like I said, governors of Southeast region is not to be trusted no matter who they are or how clean they are. Because they have caused so much problem. Let's read this for Oti, the Ebony State Governor, the Anambra State Governor, and Amba. What about suppose of them? This man contributed in what is happening in Niboland today, especially in Nimo State. This man invited a common terrorist that I met in Libya. This man invited him to come into Nimo State with a group of criminals to rassack Nimo State, to kill innocent civilians who has no arms because, as usual, he is a coward. Both him and the Asari he brought into my state are cowards. If not, they will not go around killing innocent freedom fighters. They will concentrate on those who are carrying AK, carrying machine, chain like them. But they did not do that rather. They went ahead to kill innocent brothers and sisters of him was dead. Because man that couples them brought them in. In command of Buhari government. It's only in our land that such thing happens. You can't see that going on in Yoruba land. You can't see that a Yoruba man who happens to be a governor bringing people into their land to murder innocent people. It's only in our land. You can't even see a Fulani governor do that. Instead, they support even their own men who are kidnappers, who are terrorists. That is the truth. But because our so-called killers, who call themselves leaders, prefer to continue to kill innocent people, they don't give a damn how many innocent people that died. So first, they use them to get the bad people. This is what they do. And that is how they rule. I believe the meeting they went for is to discuss about Liza of Namde Kano because if they are talking about insecurity, they are wasting their time. Rather, they will also go ahead and kill innocent people at the process because what is happening in Boland today is no longer what they think. Some of them contributed in insecurity by bringing in military into our land, military with Bukaram blood. They came into our land with uniform. But today, some of them are somewhere in the bush kidnapping. That is the truth. When they come outside, they will kidnap, they go inside the bush. This is only what is happening in our land as we speak. These are the things that they cannot stop from happening while he was here. But these men who call themselves leaders of evil land, especially this was the man, Devil Mike. Those counterfeit governors collaborated with him. Federal government and British government 
with some lunatics who are in desperate, who claim today that they are freedom fighters. For two guiding years, all they do, do is propaganda, nothing else. That's what they have achieved. Upon that, our Biafran brothers have refused to use their initiatives. When they sit down the color letter today, they will say, No, ah, yeah, no, we can't see the letter, we can't grieve for letter, no, no. Why they not learn talk? This is all they come to do. Because when you see people who are useless and they have refused to learn from their past mistake, this is how they behave. Igbos supposed to be wise when it comes to things like this. Even though Namde Khan did not write a letter, even though he did not tell Elijah Mako or any other person to say anything about this whole sit at home and the freedom we are fighting for, even as in this is custom, why can't you use the initiative to ask yourself this question? Just, you know, an evil man who uses his sense normally asks himself a question at times, even why failing in business and every other thing. You ask yourself a question. What is it and what is it I'm doing that I'm not getting right? Why am I failing in business? That's the kind of things you should do while you're using your initiative. When it comes to this struggle, some of you are doubt if really you are one of people that are supposed to use your initiatives by asking yourself this question. For two years, that Namdekalo was kidnapped. These lawyers has fought with the help of IPUB. They have fought, and they, throughout they have won their case. In fact, to this extent, every court has set Namdekalo free. Upon that, Nigerian government refused to release him. And you haven't asked yourself again: How come? These men who are killing people in our land, killing our own Biafran brothers and sisters because of sisters, how come whenever they kill, they will make a video I sent out claiming that they are doing it because of them they can. Have you ever one day sit down and ask yourself this question? Just pitch yourself, ask yourself this question. I just want to bring it cool so that all of you will understand what I'm talking about and where I'm going to. This is not about fast today. Have you ever sit, sat down and ask yourself this question. If fully Biafran's want to name the can are from DSS custody, will some of them will be killing somebody, killing the Biafra like their Biafra brothers or sisters, including pregnant women. After doing that, they will send the video out by saying that they are doing it because of Nam the can. Unless he's released, they will continue to do that. And this thing they are doing, they are doing it in Biafra land. Not that they are doing outside though. Not that they are doing it in the whole Nigeria. They are doing it in Biafra land. They go on to kill their brothers and sisters and they will do a video. They will say because of Nam the Khan. Who are they doing the video for? Why are they sending the video out? Who are they doing it for? This is a question some of you have refused to ask yourself. Don't expect Nam the Khan to tell you everything. Mm -mm. Use your initiative. Your leader who has been in this circumstance for so many years now. And people came in with propaganda in the name of fighting for freedom. There are a lot of things that they have said, including that Nam the Kano gave them power before he was kidnapped. Now the question you are asking is does it mean that they were aware that Nam the Kano is going to be kidnapped? Or is there any was there any discussion? So why should they say that Nam the Kano gave them power to take control if he's no longer here? These are the questions some of you have refused to ask yourself. In life, you use your initiative. You don't allow people to tell you everything that you must know. That is why Igbo men are good in business. But when they are doing, going forward, all of a sudden they started going backward. 
they will come and preach themselves, ask themselves, what is going on? What is it that I'm doing that I'm not getting right? Why am I going back? Well, it's not forward. If some of you don't know, everything about this Biafra struggle, you claim you are fighting for. Sister Namde Kahlo was kidnapped. Both those who claim that they have come to grab power, they have come to do their conduct, they are all liars. There's nothing working. Nothing is going to happen. I've told you this. Go and take it from me. And this is why IPB has done everything possible to make sure Namde Kahlo is released. But when you go around killing people and they trying to hook it on his head, so how do you expect the federal government to listen? Or how do you expect the world to pull fire on federal government to listen? How do you expect the so called criminal leaders you have in Igbo land that you also behave like? How do you expect them to push forward? And how do you expect the so-called Bola Metinubu to listen to them? This is what you don't understand. And it's, it's very, very good that you start understanding this. And believe me, it's only this. Only when you start understanding this that everything will be alright. Your leader sent a letter out from DSS custody. He claimed he did not, that it was not his letter. He sent a message to somebody. He said that the person is about to work. Even though your leader today do a broadcast with the voice, he will also say that it was fake voice. That somebody is trying to uh, trying to impersonate him. This is because you are not a good Biafra. You are only here for what you will gain, not to do the right thing. I listen to some people writing jagos and jagon somewhere in Twitter. Writing all sort of useless things. I guess in the camp. I am now challenging those people who wrote that, insulting him that they should come out in video openly with their face and they insulting Namde Khan. I don't need picture, what I need is video. Because this is getting too much. A man who has sacrificed everything so far in different ways. And you allow yourself to be instigated against him. Show yourself a video while you are insulting him. Believe me, you are going to visit those who sacrifice their life. Willingly. In this struggle. They sacrifice their life willingly in this struggle to make this struggle move forward. They were not killed by Bia France. So the ones you are doing now, killing our people, is unacceptable. This is what I'm just saying. If you continue to insult them, they can because he told you to cause it at home off. That he's taking the life of our people. From different places in Biafra land. And anytime that happened, some of you come out here and say it was not also, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. And you have refused to feature those doing it upon that. You have refused to stop that useless it at home. Even though I know it has died natural death, but some people are also attacking people somehow. That means. You know what you are doing. You are not a Biafra freedom fighter. You are a criminal. Making sure that Nam the Colonel died in DSS custody so that you have the opportunity to do all your master's game. I will not lie to Peter and the Bush. The governors should understand that insecurity cannot stop in Igbo land automatically. It will take time. Or lesson Namde Kano 
is released. That's the truth. Unless he's allowed to make a press conference to address his people. But they will not allow him. Bola Metinibu was given strict instruction by Buhari not allow him to speak to people because this plan was made several years ago before he was kidnapped. They know that if you do that, the insecurity will stop in Biafra land. At least 90% of the insecurity will stop. Why some criminals who want him dead by all means will not also stop. They would like to fight until the end of their time. Until they ended. That is the truth. We should know what we are doing and where we are heading to. For us to achieve Biafra struggle, we should use our initiative. Nandikala used his initiative. That is why he brought Biafra to this system today. I don't believe in all these governors. But you cannot use insecurity in Biafra land to get Nandikala's release. No. Because the government, federal government will not mind you. Are you doing that in Yoruba land? Are the Yoruba the ones dying? Are the Fulani the ones dying? The Igbos are the ones that Igbo be friends. So nobody will give it them. Tinibu will not give it them. All that governors from Igbo land may be having pity, but you see those two devil my hand and they also hope was them man. Who collaborated in everything? Who collaborated in the kidnap of Nam the Khan? Would never give it them. After the families are not in Nigeria, they are outside. Who send you? That is the truth. And the ones that have pity against our people will continue to go to see Tinibu and Tinibu will continue to post them and things will continue to go wrong. This is just what they want, nothing else. Listening to the voice of reason, the voice of your master who has been in this custody for two years now and still listening to propaganda. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Piafra.